right so the availability of a catalog item is our next topic right so how normally applications will be limited in the service node system based on roles based on the roles very good perfect answer who answered it ma Neelavati sir. So based on the roles. So if you see applications, modules, okay, tables and all, access, if you say one word called how it will be access, how it will be provided access, how it will be limited with some people. The only topic we will get is, okay, what is the concept ma? Role. See here, we create role. one application, okay, we get role only here. See here, let me see. Okay, career guidelines. ITIL applications. So here you have only roles. Can I only limit to one person? Can I only limit to one location? Can I only limit to one group? No. Correct? No. Right? So in system, many of the topics will be attached with only roles. If you see access, if it is role, that's it. It is role. But how about service catalogs? So service catalogs, I want to limit this one only for ITIL role. What is that? Sorry, wait, ma. Uh, limit access of access controller. Service. Service catalog means all three, ma. Not only record producer, order guide, and service catalog. All three catalogs I can say. Okay. Just catalogs. Okay. So here, I want to access only to these people. Role. Okay. Role, you know it. Very good. I want to access this one to only service desk people. Service desk group. Okay, I want to act. I want to give, limit this access to only US location people, right? Maybe I want to access this one only to IT department people. Okay, is there any possibility? Yes. Okay, so see here in catalogs. Okay, the limitation is like this: available for, not available for. Okay, if you go from positive side, yes. yeah, if you go from positive side, I think you need to give me two minutes, ma. some sound is coming. You are getting disturbance, sir, because of this, or my voice is clear? No, sir, it's okay. It's okay, right? Clear, so, clear, sir. Uh, so, available for, not available for is our concept. So, you make this form available to certain limit of people. Okay, you make this form not available for certain limit of people. Okay, either you can use it. it, depends on your situation. So let's say you want to limit it non-US people. So you use this one, you keep US here, then except US, everyone can access it, right? So either you use this one or use this one, but what you use here is very important, okay? See, to understand it, I will do is, okay, I will edit it. I will be using the existing one, I will be adding it. And then we'll understand what it is. Okay. So, edit. When I say edit, what I'm getting here is, I'm getting some options here. Okay. So, let's say, uh, any user means every user, only some Acme users means one company is there, only admin users, only CMDB users. I think, let's get this one. Or let's get, okay, let's get this one. Okay. Or we can create our own users, own, own one thing also. But what is that one thing is important to understand, okay? Right. So, I, add, I added one thing which is available in the edit list. Okay. Now, I can say my statement is, now this catalog item is available for these people, this list. Okay. Correct statement? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, now... Our now immediate thing is what is this? It is called as user criteria, right? Service catalogs will be controlled by user criteria. Service catalog access will be controlled by user criteria, not directly the roles. Okay. So what is user criteria? User criteria is simple. Okay. Simple. See here, user criteria may be used to restrict the access of access to the records in service catalogs and knowledges. This applies in the knowledge management also. Knowledge management, you have user criteria, you can restrict it. So see here, I can create a new user criteria, but what are the options you have it here? You see, 
this particular user criteria is limited to two users okay two groups one role okay one company one location of the us okay one department right so let's say your requirement is like this like this you can add all of them or your location your ex, your your uh, requirement is like let's say you want to restrict it only for it department people okay then you go to this one create a new user criteria right and you define how you want to define so whoever having the it department only those people will be limited here you can even write the script also okay so now if i add that use it department one okay in my catalog item so it will be only limited to those people this is what the user criteria does that make sense yes, yes. no okay yes. similarly here this particular example is limited to two users two groups one role one department one location one okay so any user from any one of these matches can access it okay if you click this one match all worst case you, sh you should be part of all of them correct matching all is very difficult right maybe you need to remove here you need to remove here and then maybe locate one company one department let's say the requirement is something like this okay you need to get look at, like in service now you have companies okay in your organization you have some company tables em underscore company tables there you have 10 companies okay so your look your requirement is like i want all it department people from this particular abc company should access this particular form so you define a company you define a department and then you say match all if you don't say match all all it okay in entire organization all it entire organization of this one will be accessed if you say match all people who are subset of these two will access it is this correct statement yes or no you are getting yes. it much match yes. means everyone it is available everyone every group every role no ma'am now uh, yes so see here match all if i say match all a user should be part of this one this one this one this one and this one so whatever you selected here this one okay he should be part of all is okay clear? Yes. so which is a very rare case correct if you see this page it is very difficult but let's say you see this page okay so let's me say okay so something like this okay acme emia or acme emia sir let's say like emia okay so now what is the meaning of this this particular definition okay i am a user where i belongs to it department and part of this company okay i am part of this company but i am not belongs to it department can i will get access no no, no. right now i am part i am part of it department sir i am part of emia but i am hr department can i get it now no now yes to see check this based on this one i answered yes, yes. it yes yes now it is possible now, it is now, possible. now we can pass yes. it is not so anyone is now okay. i am belongs to emia but i am from it yes now yes. it is possible possible so match all will check for all the selections and then make sure like he is the user is part of everything which is a very rare case ma i am saying na right? okay see here i think the same thing okay so we will not check this one but now okay now now what is the meaning every user of it mm -hmm. and every user of this company okay sir get it get it right so right so this is the user criteria now you use this user criteria in this particular catalogs okay the same interview question ma how you restrict a knowledge article to some list of people user criteria only the definition of user criteria is same okay 
you just create a knowledge management knowledge base and then see there also you see user criteria okay we are not touching knowledge management this particular one is clear now what is knowledge uh, what is uh, user criteria and it is related to catalog items you all clear yes sir. yes sir. okay and if let's say i created one so let's say i didn't use this one okay this is not meant for this one right consider like now you tell me what is the meaning of the one which we are going to do now okay so see my cat my service catalog is defined in this way that catalog item not available for those are part of this user criteria one second ma'am ha huh, that's true answer but we will go a little more specific okay so now exactly tell me what is the meaning of this particular limitation this is the definition this item is attached with this particular uh, user criteria and that to here not available for so exactly tell me the statement user should not be part of that company and department then only he can access right should not be okay or uh, uh, apart from these two connections user should be either way okay so correct ma everyone got this point that is yes. if we uncheck a match all that means he should not user be part of the company and also it non it non acme also yeah. both why both both the connection no? uh, if okay uh, match all is unchecked so that means user cannot be part of any one of the company or department right yes correct correct ma okay yes sir thank you thank you uh, this is very 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 important point ma user criteria is very important and that too they, they will ask you okay uh, specifically okay how you restrict it we will get confused normally application availability catalog anything availability in service now will be directly will get it in mind like it's a role but if you say only role gone right knowledge bases and service catalogs only user criteria here you don't see role at all you have role inside the user criteria but not outside correct everyone keep this is that correct ma mm. right yes yeah.